just work with young with young women with adolescent girls and every day the issues that hits us most is their experiences around sexuality um, either we are dealing with young moms mm -hmm. we are supporting um, girls who have been forced or uh, had experience of child marriage um, or are dropping out of school for various reasons and so it's just going round and round to understanding that the issue of sexuality education, the issue of health and services is so critical to the well-being of women. I think people, and especially young women, are making very tough decisions every day. Mm -hmm. They're making tough decisions about relationships, around family, um, around services, and so that is the first, is to recognize that they are decision makers. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they want quality information to enable them to make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is the, the challenges young people are facing is the issue of access to quality, affordable in services in safe spaces. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to talk their private things, their issues, in a way that they are respected and not stigmatized. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, they want their potential unleashed. Mm -hmm. Young people want a job. They want a, a healthy, loving relationship. Mm -hmm. They don't want to experience rape. They just want to enjoy being a human being and with their dignity. We need the commitment for a number of reasons. I just find it unacceptable that the highest, the main cause of death of our young people, maternal deaths, is pregnancy related. It's around sexuality. We have to say no to our young women dying. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the ultimate straw for me. The second is that these are preventable issues. We can prevent teenage pregnancy. We can prevent child marriage. This does not require rocket science. Yeah. It simply requires commitment, changing behavior, and resources.